Hello and welcome. Today's video is going to be a quick one. It seems my other video is confusing people. Um, a lot of, I get a lot of private messages and email asking me for the firmware files and uh, they're basically in the description. But the video on how to restore your CX-20 was basically me just asking the community to help out and it was successful. So I, I'll just make this quick video as a step-by-step -step on how to restore your CX-20 back to the factory 3.12 where most people say you can never do it. And about eight months ago or so, we came up with the firmware and you're able to do it. So say if you don't like version 3.21 or 3.15 or whatever, for any reason, you just wanna go back to 3.12 and be able to use a remote to calibrate your compass and your accelerometers, this is the steps to do it. So here it is. So extract or download the uh, firmware package I have on my Google Drive. You need 7-zip, I'll also include a link for both of them. Right click on it and choose 7-zip uh, and just extract to there. Go into this folder, it's fine. Open up Mission Planner, plug in your APM under the quad. Do not plug in the battery as well. All right, once it's plugged in, confirm it gets detected here. What you can do as a quick test is to make sure is just connect to it, just to make sure everything's still working right. Bad compass health. All right, so you can see I'm on version uh, 3.21, so it's all good. And apparently my thing's upside down, but that's okay. Disconnect. So now I'll just leave these two here. If you can't see these, just minimize and maximize your window, then you'll be able to see it. Go to initial setup. Go to install firmware. Click on the here where it says load custom firmware. So here's one of the files here. So just double click on this guy. And while it's doing this, just make sure the USB cable can't be bumped or anything like that. And uh, yeah. So as soon as you click on it, it'll start writing. All right, so it's completed. For some reason, if uh, you're, it re reads back and you get a verification error, it's really important don't unplug anything. What you're gonna wanna do is just go to pick previous firmware and uh, you can either start right at the top with 3.21, just go right back to there. But what I suggest doing is just pick 3.15 and then um, after it's done, then try the steps all over again with 3.12. Sometimes the EEPROM or something just gets in the way or something. I'm not exactly sure why. Sometimes it gets corrupted, but that would be the safest way to do it. And uh, now go to initial setup. And now we'll load the factory parameters. And I went the wrong thing, sorry. Go into config and tuning. And push connect. Sometimes it won't change up here until you actually reboot the APM, but it usually works. So here, just ignore this or whatever. That's usually what gets people into the trouble of that anyways. So here we go. So we're back at the OEM firmware version 3.12. This is what the CX-20 actually came with. So now that you're in config and tuning, click on either full parameter list or full parameter tree. Then go to load from file, pick the CX-20 default 2014, say okay, and then write your parameter. After that, you have to refresh your parameters or unplug the APM and plug it back in. But I suggest disconnecting first. All right, so after that's all done, your CX-20 should be back exactly how it was when you got it from factory. So now what you can do is go to initial setup. And you have to redo the um, compass, the accelerometer, the compass, the radio calibration, flight mode. However, the compass and the accelerometers you can do out of the quad now, just with the remote, just like you were, you were able before. And just confirm all your flight modes are correct. And then uh, you should be good to go. So hopefully this was a little bit more helpful than my other video. It uh, seemed to confuse a lot of people. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please.